Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to check this out. Tech Art's take on the latest 992 variant of the Porsche 911. This is a Carrera 4S that has more power than a 911 GT3. We're talking 510 horsepower, but it's also the first time I've really spent any time in a 992 to begin with. Now today we are here in Finland out on the snow with Continental as part of their winter high performance event. There are lots of cars around but there's also a wide open space to drive this in anger to slide it around and to have some fun i'm going to show you through the modifications that tech art have made to the exterior we'll talk about some of the power numbers check out the completely retrimmed interior but most importantly take it for a drive to see what it's all about You will notice quite a few cars in the background sliding around and having fun, but let me start with a walk around to show you through the changes that TechArt have made to the 992. Now this is the Carrera 4S, the four-wheel drive car, based on the three-litre turbocharged flat six, of course the direction that Porsche are heading, except in this case they've taken it from the standard 450 horsepower up to 510. Torque is also up from 530 newton meters to 610, so we're talking some big numbers, big performance. As we walk around though, you will immediately spot the aero kit, the package, the upgrades that they've done. For example, the rear spoiler that we have up here. Down at the back, we've got a new exhaust system currently burbling away while it's idling. The car has the large golden wheels, the 21 inch at the rear, 20 inch at the front. Tech Art suspension lowers the car by 30 millimeters. Around to the front, there are also new aero uh, surrounds, a five part lower lip at the front. And of course, this car is finished as well with the visual design of the stickers as you can see. But we're here, this open area is calling. So we're gonna take this out for a good old drive. And of course, being on the snow and being here with Continental, the car is running the Continental Winter Contact tyres, perfect for today's conditions, even in a car like this, which normally is not ideal in these settings, in this scenario. It is, of course, four-wheel drive. We do have the PDK gearbox. Let me show you a little bit of the interior to show you the complete retrimming to this. Tech Art have done everything, from the door cards to the seats, giving it a very, very nice style. New carbon parts, new steering wheel. This is a really nice place to be, and I will run you through it in a lot more detail after a little drive, but it is freezing out here as you can see it is currently snowing so let me take a seat inside so that I can start warming up a touch we've currently got minus eight degrees celsius on the dashboard so very very cold I do actually need to uh, turn it back drive mode into normal and probably should turn traction control back on as well to get us started but here oh, already warming up this is much much better very very chilly outside but this is it, my first drive on a video of a 992, which is of course a very significant car. And don't forget, I used to own the 500 horsepower 911 GT3, the car that I'm talking that this is a little bit more powerful than. But in any case, it's a very nice place inside here, very nicely finished, and I imagine this is gonna be quite a lot of fun. So let me grab my cameras, let's go out for the drive and see what it's like. It is so chilly outside that I've now got that burning sensation as my fingers are warming up. It is very nice in here. It has been kept on, so inside is already nice and warm. I don't even think I need the seat heating on, but just looking around, really nice place to be. Many features and things that have been talked about already with the 992, but this is Tech Art's take. This is making it more bespoke, more unique, more individual, giving more power to the existing models in the lineup. So let's use that small shifter to pop it into reverse cameras, open up. We currently have everything turned on. So all the traction control, all the everything, normal driving mode. And interestingly, you only get the extra power, those extra 60 horses when you're in Sport or Sport Plus on the drive selector. Normally you would only have the, in normal mode, the regular 450, but foot down, yeah, and it's instantly throttling me. Of course, that's what you would expect in these kind of weather conditions. If, however, we do pop it into Sport, Sport Plus, and we go to traction and we I think we can turn that off in full, hold it down. There's a middle setting for sport, and then effectively just boot it. This is, of course, where it spins around, and the four-wheel drive pulls us slightly out, but it's a Porsche. It's instantly, clinically perfect. Instantly. So easy to balance, to maneuver, just drive around obviously tires are a big part of this but yeah that was uh, our first little donut so let's just get a, a feel for throwing it a little bit harder all-wheel drive cars what you have to remember in the snow and these kind of conditions is that basically the car will go where you point it 
if you are throwing the car and you need to get out of trouble, more power, point the steering wheel and away you'll go. But just to give it a bit of welly, yes, 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 yes. It's very precise. It feels like just jumping straight into it. Immediately I know where the car is going, what it wants to do. I feel like I could just slide it around. <laughs> that is fantastic. Now, of course, we are in Sport Plus. Let's just turn it down actually to normal for a moment. Still got traction off, so we will pop um, traction back on. I keep looking for the button in the middle, but it's up there in the center of the dash underneath that big display screen that you have. But we will squeeze out through many of the other cars as part of this event that are all lined up here to head towards the track. It's about a kilometer or so, but we have complete freedom to basically do as I wish driving around this. So I think we will just wait a second because there's a car out on track at the moment, but then ultimately gonna go around and slide it about a little bit. Now, as I said, in normal right now, it won't let me do anything fun. Oh, it's really interesting actually to, to test traction control like this. My foot is flat to the floor and we're barely moving. I always find that fascinating how, you know, it's software at the end of the day, but how clever it is. So if we pop traction into sport, oh, we've got to give it a slightly hot longer press. There we go. Traction is now in sport. What's it going to give us? A little bit of slip, but not very much, as you can tell. Just a tiny little bit, tiny little angle. Still very good fun. Oh, oh, a bit early there on the next corner. It's it's actually harder than you think, driving a very powerful car like this on the snow. It's actually really quite hard. So next thing I need to do then, let's pop it into sport mode. Give it a little uh, little flick, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's like slow motion on this. Literally just give it a little kick, wait for the back to come round, give it some power and you get that four wheel slide off to the side. But it's so delicately balanceable. You've got so much control. So obviously then if we go Sport Plus, we turn it completely off. Let's have no traction. There we go. So obviously Sport Plus adjusts the suspension and a few other things while it's at it. Yes, we're going a lot more sideways now. <laughs> Point the wheels and away we go. So I've noticed that we are catching up with the car in front. So I need to be a little bit aware of this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Give it a small kick. There we go. On the power, on the power. Yes, 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 yes. It feels so good. When you do it and you do it right in here, it feels so, so, so good. This would have been a quite fast last corner, but alas, uh, we're gonna run into the back of a car in front and I don't fancy overtaking sideways at the moment. I'm not, I'm not quite up to that yet. Um, even though this is, I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is very ridiculous. Oh, they're kindly letting me go through. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So. Around we go then. What you've got to not do is get carried away, because if you get carried away, that's when you get it very wrong very quickly. And it's hard to explain what driving on ice is actually like, as well as trying to think a little bit about the car, slightly overcooked this. But honestly, you have to be so delicate with everything. That felt so good, and that is what this car is about in its entirety. Just being a clinical, perfect driving experience. <laughs> a few more moments then on the drive. Of course, you've got the small but quite chunky steering wheel. Feels good in your hands, feels reassuring. You've got a great sound out of it. The new exhaust system, of course, with a turbocharged engine, he says, just concentrating a little bit as we go around this corner. It's a battle to make the sound, especially with regulations, things that are throttling back. The fun that we're allowed to have with cars. But this is doing quite a nice job. Very raspy, flat six cylinder sound from behind. <laughs> I tell you what, it's hard to concentrate and slide a car around at the same time. Oh yes, link those turns. Oh, slightly overcooked it there. <laughs> oh wow. You can tell I'm having a laugh, even if I'm perhaps a little bit more uh, movement on the steering wheel than I should be. But give it a little bit of a flick around the hairpin, wait for there we go, nicely on the apex, sliding out towards the outside, point the wheels and shoot the power. <laughs> Hard to get a feel for the power in these driving conditions, of course, because, well, this isn't your, uh, you know, normal driving environment for this kind of car, right? But I tell you what, <laughs> 
It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Coming straight off the track though, I think it might be time for a little bit of uh, some donutty fun to uh, get the most out of this. We've got everything fully off just to see exactly what we've got. Give it a bit of a stab just to get the uh, slide going, wait for the front end to go round. There we go. this car around. Now I'm going to head out this way because we also have a bit more representative of a road course despite still being obviously on snow. Now it would be a different game driving this car around on more traditional normal tarmac but here well look at this. Look at this scenery with the trees we've got this little road between the snow banks. Of course I do not want to damage Tech Art's work of art that is the car that I'm currently driving. Their press vehicle, it is very, very special that they've let me drive it here at the event with Continental. A big thanks to both Continental and Tech Art for this opportunity. But just cruising around, perhaps maybe now would be the time to pop it back into normal, to go to normal power, also to turn traction back on, just at the press of a button. You've got a few other buttons that you can configure. You've also got a nose lifter as well to help with that low splitter, although on these uh, roads they've prepared them for us in a way that we don't need them. Braking, very good, considering the conditions, in fact, 40 odd kilometers an hour. I find it amazing how quickly you can come to a stop with the right tires like that. It really is a thing, even in a car like this, because you don't instinctively think a 500 horsepower car is the right car to drive in these kind of weather conditions. You know, normally you're going for an SUV or something, but this, well, it handles it like a charm, right? This is non, not an issue at all. We've got plenty of poke to accelerate between the corners. All the grip, you know, doesn't slip under acceleration at all. Yeah, it's a really, really good driving experience. Perhaps, you know, with a 911, you lose a little bit of the excitement because it is so clinical. You know, in a, in a way, it's almost so perfect that you do lose a touch of emotion, I would say. That's a thing with 911s. They're unbelievably quick, unbelievably good at everything they try and do, but it's just that small thing. And this generation is also a very expensive car. Let's not forget that. It's a very, very expensive car. However, if you're going to do it, I love what Tech Art have done, and I need to show you a little bit more around the inside of this. So let's head back on ours of the track, and I can run you through a little bit more of the interior. Okay, so I've come to a stop. The fun and games are over for the moment. I need to show you a few more bits and pieces, and it is actually now pretty warm in here, so we need to pop the car into park, just so all is good. What I'm gonna do, actually, just for the moment, is open up the door. You've got these kind of electronic door release handles, so that first stage, there's no kind of significant pull behind it, and then it clicks if you need to do the full release. But just while we have the door open here, let's pop it with the drive mode selector here, back into Sport Plus. You could hear that the exhaust got a touch louder there. Just get rid of this for a moment, letting us know what's going on and then back here take a quick listen so it is capped in revs as you can hear you can only rev it up to about three and a half thousand and it's got really cold again very very quickly but to show you a little bit more of the dials Porsche have still kept the traditional five uh, bezels on the dashboard display one of course being analog the other two sides um, being dual pairs on digital display so you can cycle through a whole host of screens um, and different things and bring up navigation and you well you can imagine basically you've got your trip you've got the full uh, nav there currently showing us that we're in the middle of a, a kind of lake well yeah as you can see, we're not near a main road at all, but you've got a lot of different bits of info. Your driving mode, as you can see, depending how you've got it set up, tire information, G-force sensors, sport chrono, linking to the sport chrono clock that you've got up on the dashboard. Um, yeah, lots of nice bits and pieces to play with in there, but still maintaining that iconic look, that, that central screen. And in line with that, you still have, even though it's keyless, you have the toggle to stop it and start it just there as well, um, as you can see bring it back into life. Nice and easy. Lots of likes just letting us know what's going on. What else do we have? Tech Art, of course, redoing the steering wheel. Um, new Tech Art logo in the center of it, but all the stitching and features that they've done, the materials they've used, the kind of heritage look that you have for the door card inserts and also the seats and the different leathers and trims. Very, very, I think, traditional kind of interior, this. Carbon piece all the way along the dashboard sitting beneath this display, which does slightly obscure 
parts of the bottom of the screen. I'm not gonna lie, you feel like it's kind of disappeared behind. But here, you've got a brilliant new infotainment from Porsche. All the tiles that you've got on the main screen, you can click things, obviously you can go through uh, your nav, your media, your car settings, whatever it may be you want to get to, and it all happens very quickly. Exhaust on. I think it would go on automatically if you weren't going into Sport Plus. Yeah, there we go, and back into normal. Oh, <laughs> stop start, of course. In normal mode, we'll just give a press of the throttle to turn it back on. If we go into individual, this is where you've got chassis, you've got a few other controls, settings. This is, this is, it's just brilliant. There's so much stuff and it's very easy to find. So I like all of that. Down here, you've got your lift system, a hotkey, hazards. Uh, you've got your traction control. You've got your Porsche dynamic chassis control, air conditioning vents. Some of these kind of touch buttons, I'm never the biggest fan of those because they're actually quite hard to find when you're driving. This well talked about electric razor style park reverse neutral drive or reverse neutral drive control. Manual, if you want to use just the paddles, which are kind of short little uh, things on the back of the steering wheel. Got the key just here if you're interested in how that looks. Um, also got heated and cooled seats uh, in the interior as well. And you'll notice the carbon has a slight color tint to it to match with the leather and the different trims uh, and materials. Then the armrest, we've got the tech art embossed logo. A bit of storage inside here as well. The uh, raft of plug sockets, USBs, uh, and things that you might want. Now there are technically seats in the back, but very much two plus two, they are not particularly big seats. You're not gonna be fitting somebody uh, tall or with long legs in the back of this car. I am gonna quickly jump out though, just to uh, walk around the exterior again for a moment to show you a few of the changes a little bit more closely. They do offer two different wings. So this is the optional larger aero wing. There's also a kind of lip spoiler wing um, that you could have. Obviously we've now lost a bit of the visual uh, elements of the rear of the car, but we do have a frozen Porsche logo, which is just quite cool. The way it's the 3D style underneath that full width light you know, style from the 4S, uh, I suppose. But down at the back, the low diffuser, now with icicles hanging on it. You can see the color theme down the center of those matching as well with the carbon on the inside bubble of the exhaust around towards the side obviously this wheel design let's talk about the wheel design i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big fan of this I, 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 it's different it's unique but it's not my favorite style i find it a little bit too fussy too much going on we've got the new side skirts some trim here around the mirrors as well and then down towards the front of the car obviously like i mentioned all of these parts uh, are new from tech art for this car as well but overall it's clinical. It's like a perfect car to drive. And then this, well, has more power than the GT3. 10 horsepower more than my 911 991.2 generation GT3 had the previous generation, this being the 992. It was launched, what, about a year ago? But like I say, the first time I think I've actually filmed one on video, the first time I've spent significant amounts of time driving a 992. And I've definitely enjoyed it out here on the snow with Continental, having a lot of fun, driving the right car with the right tires on the right track, what a day it's been. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Continental. Thank you also to Tech Art, and thank you to you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, but that's it for now. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.